What is good guys? I am back on the mic today from Spectral Sound Tutorials bringing you a sick serum tutorial today. Let me pull this up and show y'all how to make a snail's bass. This is a really sick sound. Let's give it a listen. <laughs> fun stuff all right now if you don't know snails then you should know snails that's someone you should know he's uh he's a pretty awesome producer but this is his signature sort of style sound in his form of music he calls it vomit step but anyways i know there are many tutorials about this i just wanted to put in another serum tutorial because the tutorial that i found the most helpful was for ableton and yeah, that's fine. Ableton's great. I think Frosty did the tutorial on it, but I'm I changed a little bit of things around here, and I am going to show you the post processing for FL users, which it's it's really simple. Like it's not it's nothing complicated. It looks like there's a good amount on here, but it's just doing small stuff except for the vocoder. But so I'm going to show you the sound without any of the effects. <laughs> Same basic stuff except it's not as it's not as squelchy and wet you know it doesn't have that sort of vomit step feel so this is without any of the um any of the effects in serum wow right not that good the real thing that really creates this sound is the phaser here and i'm going to get to that all right, let's start off just right from the center. I don't have a sub on. I would recommend that you cut the sub on this overall patch and add a new sub because it's very messy. I had to do some compression in there. But let's just get right to it. Oscillator A is going to be a thick and thin in the spectral down there. It'll be thick and thin. Oscillator B is I can has kick. Wavetable position is all the way up on this one. The wavetable position all the way down on this one. Now, I have uh, no unison on any of these. On the thick and thin, I have a Ben plus minus. I guess you could just choose the Ben plus and turn it all the way up. But I have a Ben plus minus. Normally, it looks like that. If you could pull up a Ben plus and turn it all the way up. There we go. And you get the same basic thing. So that's what I have here. That's the waveform. This is, you'll hear, um, just this thick and thin. <laughs> What we're doing here, yeah, yes, the effects are all in. What we're doing here is we're just cutting the top end. You can see oscillator A is going through the filter, but oscillator B isn't going through the filter. And that's very important because if, if it wasn't going through a filter, there's messy high end that we don't want interfering with the high end of the ICANN has kick. So we're going to just cut the, cut the top end of that. That'll give it a thicker sound at the bottom. So, and then... For the oscillator B, you can tell that that it's got some really good harmonics here. That if we cut those out, the sound is not as bright. It doesn't sound as squelchy. I I can has cake is a very good uh, wavetable for making snail spaces. So both of them together. Awesome. Okay, for the modulation, we have like almost no modulation on the top here. Put it on trigger mode. I set it to one half. Go to the effects section. This is where you really get into it. I'm just going to start from the start from the top. Throw some hyper dimension on it. Without it, you can see that adds a good bit just just right there. You can. Uh, copy these parameters right here just turn the mix down a bit i'm pretty sure i didn't mess with those i don't normally but just turn the mix down a little bit and turn the dimension expander this is on like zero to one percent and turn the mix up to the middle that's what i always do if i want to make a good wide sound dimension expander is awesome but then we go into the distortion now we got a sine fold here and we don't we're not using the filter on this one now we're just going to turn the drive up or we're going to turn it all the way down and assign LFO1 up just a slight bit, just to 11. 
It's going to go up to 11 there. The mix is not all the way up. It's down to like 60, 65, whatever or so along those lines. Let's just give it some extra, some extra brightness. Just kind of shapes the sound a little better. And you can see that we're not going all the way up on this modulation. That's um, something I decided to do. It just, it just helps the sound. It's, it sounds better. It doesn't sound as piercing. So then we move into the phaser. This is an extremely important part of making any snail space. This is how this is how it works. Once you have this basic kind of sound, you turn the rate all the way down so it's solid. The BPM, it's not. It doesn't matter too much. I just turn it off. The depth all the way down. Feedback, I believe I just kept the feedback in phase at the normal, mixes all the way up. And the frequency, I have this frequency at 78 hertz going up to 36. Uh, so I have it going up and down. Now, since the rate is all the way down, normally a phaser or a flanger just phases and flanges at its own speed and you can adjust the speed. If, but if we turn the rate all the way down, it's staying solid and you can control how the phaser or the flanger moves with the frequency knob. And I assigned the frequency to go up and down with the, um, the this low frequency oscillator one here. So without the phaser, with the phaser, we have a snail's bass. There we go, or basic snail's bass. But that that's the main that's the main thing that really shapes the sound here to get that snail's bass. So I this this is a very important step. The compressor, just to make things a little heavier, brighten them up without the compressor. With the compressor. This is basically an OTT here. I love I love this compressor. I use it in so much. But you can you can copy these settings I have right here. You can bring it up to how you like it. Again, with, with this sound, uh, my headphones that I'm using right now, they're not exactly studio quality, but and ne neither are my small speakers that I have here. So it sounds different on every system. You can adjust the EQing afterwards to your taste. I had to do a bit of compression, so it might sound a little odd on whatever system you're listening to this on. But this is just what I did, so you can uh, edit this a bit. The important thing about this was the phaser. But yes, let's go into... I think that is it for Serum, if I'm not mistaken. I can show you all the matrix of everything. It's just a couple things that... Oh yeah, the, the master tune. You want to go into LFO1, select LFO1 here. You want to go to global master tune. I turn this up to 23. So that's it's going to go up and down and you want it um you want it a I don't I don't know what it's called. It's a double type where the center is the middle, down is going down and up is up. Not the bottom is the middle and then you go up from there. That's what these arrows mean right here. You can just switch that pretty easily um but yes that's the, that that's a big part without the without the master tune let me just turn the output all the way down sounds like this and where yet as yes it still sounds the same it's static it's not moving it's, it's not doing the cool slidey stuff that snails bases do and you can turn that up to whatever you're liking. I just I just kept it right there. And you can make this shape. This is this is an extremely simple shape. You just don't bring it up all the way. There's a couple there's a couple squares here that it did not go over. So at this line right here, you can just draw this sort of curve. And then you to your liking, you can just I thought it sounded good around there, so Okay, cool. Now, let's go into the effects section. I'm just going to turn all these off and start from the beginning. Now, what? Oh, no, wait, I have, okay. I, why did I think the effects were on? Oh my gosh, okay. That button turns on and off the effects. Forgot about that. So, let's turn all the effects off, start from the beginning. You have this. Throw on Fruity Vocoder. You will have this. It doesn't matter. You could use Vocodex if you wanted. I uh, did use Vocodex for one of the patches that I used a um, snail space on, but I just preferred just the normal Fruity Vocoder for this one. 
I believe these are the default settings if you open it up. I could be wrong. I could be wrong about that. But you, you, can, you can see these settings here. Um, these are, it's basically, it's very simple stuff. I didn't do anything with the bands. The vocoder just really gives it that wet, squelchy sort of feel. So without the vocoder, with the vocoder. Now, it gives it that awesome squelchy sort of feel, but it makes it a lot lower volume and it's very mono, not, it's, it's not, it's, it's not as big, really. So this is what the After Effects are for. I have an EQ, just a bit of shelving right here because the um, the vocoder tends to duck the high end a lot, so just a, a little brightness, that's nice. Have some compression in here, this compression is important. Master compression, I brought this up a bit. You can, you can copy this sort of shape on the master chain. The high end, I also had this single curve going right here make it a little brighter mids i didn't do anything the lows i did do some compression here because the lows were pretty messy so i did i, I brought it down to about the just do one of those it's not it's not going to go over there i didn't want it to go over there i wanted all the bass to be relatively the same level so I did one of those because there was like almost no bass in the beginning and then when it came down on that down slope of the pitch and the modulation the bass got really big because I'm because I'm affecting the pitch here as well so I just had to do some quick compression right there um that, just to even stuff out I made the lows completely mono and everything else is everything else is normal from there so that, that's the basic compression to have going. And I added a bit of reverb. That's actually a lot of reverb. No, that's just a bit of reverb. What is happening? Oh, oh, I have, oh, I have the uh, stereo turned up all the way. This is to get the big stereo field back. So normally it starts out like that. Turn the stereo all the way down and it makes a nice large sound. So I had this reverb up kind of a lot. Sure. Okay. But I believe these are basically the default settings. I just messed with these knobs a bit. May have done a bit with the high and stuff, but anyway, just just simple reverb there. And a limiter I had going. This is doing nothing. It's just, it's making sure I don't which I'm not I don't know why I put it on there but I just saved that as the chain anyways yes there's pretty simple after effects and the serum patch is also pretty simple like I said I would I would high pass it just do a quick one of these just to cut the sub out because the sub is messy and I'd add another sub and replicate the pitch bend from there. I wouldn't do the sub in Serum because it's going through a vocoder and compression and that's going to completely mess it up. So that, that's what I would do and add my own clean sub. But that's what I do anyway for all my sounds. So that's what I recommend for all of them. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked what I'm doing here, Comment below what you thought. Comment a sound you'd like to learn. I do my sound design in Serum Massive or just native FL plugins. You can request for either of those. I hope this video was helpful. Spotify? No. Don't open up Spotify. Okay. Hope you found this tutorial helpful, and I will see all you guys in the next video. Peace out.